with a hot pebble bed, which heats it to high temperature, and then it shoots out the rocket mass to produce thrust, and thus it flies. Um, the, uh, and then um, on Mars, it would only be able to fly about 100 kilometers uh, before it would have to land, but then it could dispatch a little rover to do a local exploration while it's running its pumps to acquire more CO2 to do another uh, hop. And then when it's all ready to go, it calls in the little rover and then takes off and flies another 100 kilometers and repeats the process. So that's why we call it a gas hop. Now, uh, this is a flying unit. We have flown this uh, up at a small airport near Brighton. And uh, we also made a vertical takeoff system, um, but without the wings, just because on Mars you would need to have vertical takeoff capability. So what we actually did was we, because this was done on a fairly low budget program, rather than try to combine the two and make a Harrier aircraft out of it, which is really how it would have to be on Mars, we had a simple vertical takeoff, vertical lander, and which did that function, and then this separately. Also, we're fighting three times the gravity here. But we flew that. We also made a little one. Uh, we took an ordinary little RC aircraft and we uh, pulled out its, uh, you know, uh, gasoline engine and propeller, and we put in a little gas hopper engine and a CO2 tank, and we flew that around in 360s and everything with that that a little airplane can do. Um,